is this disease that's killing frogs all over the world and it's lurking right at the edge of the World Heritage Area. We just need to make sure that anyone coming into the World Heritage Area isn't bringing it in with them. Annie Phillips and Scott Cashins are biologists. They are concerned about frog diseases spreading in Tasmania. Well, Kittrick was first discovered in Tasmania in 2004 and since then it's spread um, throughout much of Tasmania, particularly areas um, around the towns and associated with infrastructure and, 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 uh, and people moving. The World Heritage Area is still largely clear of the fungus and within the World Heritage Area um, live our three endemic species in Tasmania. We're concerned that chytrid may be um, having an impact on one or, or perhaps more um, of those three species and so we've developed a monitoring program focused on the, the Tasmanian tree frog. We're also monitoring our two other um, endemic species, the Tasmanian froglet and also the moss froglet. Well if, if they're susceptible to chytrid then it can have um, a very serious impact on, on populations. It can have a mass, a mass mortality event, so a lot of, a lot of dead frogs. Um, it actually affects the skin of the frog and because frogs use their skin so much um, to, to breathe and also for their electrolytes to be um, transported across their skin basically results in their, um, their, their heart, um, they go into a cardiac arrest. Some populations can, can persist at low levels with chytrid fungus and others will be uh, highly susceptible and, and, um, and in some cases it can lead to extinctions and, and declines of, of various species. Yes, what we're doing now is we're swabbing the frog. The fungus is a microscopic fungus that grows uh, within the skin of the frog. And by swabbing it, we're able to collect the DNA off the surface of the skin to detect even very small numbers of the, of the pathogen. Currently, the interior of the World Heritage Area remains disease-free. Uh, so it's sites like this that are disease-free and really healthy. Um, that, uh, that we need to protect. And it's really important that, um, that we keep this, this site chytrid negative. And we can do that by, by stopping the spread of, of pathogens and, and weeds, pathogens like chytrid, which can have really um, diabolic effects on frog populations. It really exemplifies the importance of, of cleaning your boots and the vehicles of the, of the, the tires of your car the likely routes of, of the disease getting into the World Heritage Area is on hikers' feet, on the bottom of hikers' boots. The, the washdown stations are, will be really important to, to prevent chytrid entering the World Heritage Area.